Hey y'all, hey, so today we're working with Silly Hair. They sent me over a curly wave short bob wig and it's 180 density. It is human hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this little net off so you can actually see what the curls look like right out of the bag. She is also a 13 by four frontal wig and today I wanna use the splat color. Now I went to the beauty supply and they only had one crimson. It seemed like they always just got one crimson. And I just picked up a lighting kit and this is what comes inside of the lighting kit. You got your bleach and then you have your shampoo and reconstruct and conditioner. And then you have the uh, 30 volume developer that we'll be using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that together and we're gonna get started. So in the second box with the color, you just get the color and you also get some lightener and developer also. I picked up just the lighting kit because I was gonna need extra because they didn't have any more crimson. So I just picked up a lighting kit, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over the hair. I like using this because when you're using like BW2, it kind of it's so thick that it's hard to put on. But this one, because their developer is liquid, it's called Splat Oxide and it's liquid. It's like a liquid form so it goes on easy and it covers more of the hair. So another tip you guys because when you're working with curly hair it's kind of hard when you're using the cream developer and the powder lightener. It's, it's kind of hard putting it on because it's, it's so thick and then you have to sit and rub it and you don't want to jeopardize the inter integrity of your curls. Sorry. So yeah, after I finished, I shampooed and conditioned it with the contents that they put in the box. And this is what it looks like after I've dried it. It didn't shed a lot. It did shed some, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it did still hold this curl pattern. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started with this color. So I'm taking the Splat Obsession, Crimson Obsession. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in a tub of hot water. And because I didn't have another crimson, what I did was I went and purchased a bottle of Adore in the color Intense Red. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the water as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up so we can mix it all together. Then I'm gonna take the wig and I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into the water. I did spray some Gots To Be Free spray on this before I even dipped it, you guys, but I don't think it even matters because it still stained it. But as long as you got your makeup, it should be fine. So after I let this sit for about 10 minutes because I was scared it was gonna get too red, I went and shampooed it out with cool water and I dried it. So now um, it came with this band that I'm gonna put on because this is gonna be glueless. And I'm going to take my makeup and just go ahead and apply it to my wig. So let's go on and put this bad boy on. So while I'm trying to get this adjusted, I'm going to tell you the look I'm going for. I'm trying to go for that Tori Kelly look, but in red. I absolutely love her hair. Every time I see it, I just like, oh, I'm obsessed with that big curly hair. But this will be a ball. This will be a ball. <laughs> so now I'm just going to get it adjusted and pull out the curls how I want it. And once I get that together, I'm going to go ahead and cut this lace off. So I'm going to start up the middle with the cutting of the lace and then I'm just going to work my way out from side to side cutting in a zigzag motion. So now I'm going to tempt these baby hairs honey. The ones I really, really hate because I think I suck at baby hairs. I gotta practice them a little bit. I think I sometimes I cut off too much, sometimes I don't cut off enough. And then 
I don't know. But I always seem to work it out. I seem to work it out all the time. So, just pulling it off and still trying to adjust this wig and get it. Okay. So, I had to snatch this wig off because a piece of hair got in my eye. And I ain't give a damn about the wig no more. <laughs> After I got the hair out, I just put it back on and I proceeded back to the baby hair. So now I'm cutting them. Hopefully I don't cut them too short. I think I cut some too short and a little bit too long, but it all worked out in the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and pluck a little bit more of the hair, specifically them baby hairs. So now I'm going to use my even edge control. I am not using foam wrap because i just don't feel like dealing with the mess and this particular edge control like when it dries up it dries up soft so it looks almost like as if you the same way you would look if you had used foam wrap okay in case you're wondering um there were little um hooks on uh, attached to the inside of the wig so you don't have to guesstimate or use your own elastic band to figure out where you're supposed to place the bands at so that it can have that glueless fit. They already have them installed and they send you over the elastic band sorry, with um, two little small hooks just in case you need to make it tighter or you need to make it looser. So normally they do ask you your cap size, so make sure you know your head circumference. Mine is like a 22, 23, and I did not put any glue on this hair because again, it is glueless. I didn't even do like the tabs. I just really used the edge control to kind of control it and lay it down, and it did that for me perfectly. done with the baby hair so now I'm going to take this silk band that they did send in the package and I'm going to wrap it around my head and then I'm just going to go ahead and fluff out this hair and get it where I want it to be I did add some water to it just to kind of pull the curls back out just a little bit um as you can see the curl pattern is a, a tidbit looser than it was initially and that's because of the bleach and dyeing it so it did loosen up the curl pattern but it loosened it up perfectly to where i wanted it for the look that i was trying to achieve Okay, so now it's time to take this band off. I did let it sit while I got ready and got my son ready. So it set for approximately about 30 minutes. And this is what them baby hairs look like. I tried, y'all. I mean, I like them. They okay with for me. I'm just going to comb them out. So you can see, like, you can still comb it out as if you had put foam wrap on it and let it sit. Like, you see, if I when I comb it out, it still looks soft. It doesn't have a white residue. That's why I absolutely love, 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 love Eben Edge Tamer. You should be able to find that at your local beauty supply. <laughs> Okay, so what I do love about being able to have a glueless wig, I did not have to do that ball cap thing where I had to glue the damn cap down to my head. I just, ugh, I mean, I like the results that it gives, but I don't want to do that every day. So this is perfect where I can just throw on a regular little stocking cap, put my wig on, style them baby hairs like I want to, and go. Because when I hit that door when I come back home, I'm pulling this wig off just like we pull them bras off when we hit that door. And I hang it on <laughs> the coat rack like it's a coat. And then I just go snatch it when I'm ready to put it back on. So this is the final look, my Tori Kelly look, this messy bob I am in love with. Details for this bob will be down in the description box. I hope that you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe.